you're doing good I'm your host Jason in this video I will be showing you how to make everything blank on Wix the first thing you want to do after creating your Wix account you're going to tap on create new site in the top right hand corner after tapping on create new site you will be redirected to a new page and from here I want you to tap on create on Wix editor after selecting create on Wix editor you are going to tap on set up without AI. After selecting set up without AI, normally you would type in the type of website that you would like to create right here. But since we want to start from scratch and we want our website everything to be blank, we are going to tap on skip in the bottom right hand corner. After you tap on skip, you will be redirected to the main dashboard as you can see right here. Once on the dashboard, from here you could type in your website name so for example I will call this test site so I'll type that in right there then I'll tap on continue after you have tapped on continue all you will need to do now you can choose any one of these goals or you can simply tap on skip I'm going to tap on skip and I'm not going to be adding any apps at the moment as we want it to be completely blank so we're going to tap on skip then tap on continue to dashboard after you have done that all you'll need to do now you're going to tap on design site in the top right hand corner after tapping on design site you'll be redirected to this page and you're going to tap on pick a template once you have selected pick a template you're going to tap on blank templates in the top right hand corner after selecting blank templates you can see the different blank layouts that you can choose from and we're going to be selecting this one start from scratch so i'm going to tap on edit after you have tapped on edit for start from scratch you'll be redirected to this page and this is your website at the moment with everything blank as you can see right here now to get started to start adding stuff onto your website all you need to do is you can simply hover over the section and from there you could tap on add elements after tapping on add elements for example for the header section you would select menu and anchor and from here you can see different menu layouts that you can choose from by scrolling down you can see different options right there so you can select whichever one of these options to your liking let's say for example we were to select this one all I would have to do is simply tap on it then from there we could drag it into position as you can see right there after doing that all we we'll need to do now if we'd like to change anything on it you could tap on manage menu and from there you could add more items to the menu by tapping on add menu item and if you wanted to add a new page you could do that by tapping on add new page right there or you could choose to add a link Another thing that you could also do with the menu option right here, you could tap right where you see design. After tapping on design, from here you could change the layout again as you can see right there. So you can hover over the different layouts and you'll be able to see an example of how it looks. And the reason why you're only seeing home, that's because it is the only page that we currently have on our website. If we would like to add other pages, you can select the third icon from the top left hand corner which says pages and menu and from there you will tap on add page in the top left hand corner after tapping on add page you can see the different type of pages that you can create so you can see them right there so let's say for example you would like to create a landing page you could tap on landing page right there and you can see the different landing page options if you would like to create a blank page you could tap on blank page and you can also add a store booking page restaurant page blog or so on let's say for example we want to use this landing page I'll tap on add page after you have tapped on add page you're going to give it a few seconds while the page is being added and you can see right there that the page has now been added all you need to do to edit your new landing page is you can simply scroll down and you can make changes and you can tap on quick edit after tapping on quick edit from here you could tap on the title from the right hand menu option you could change the title 
You can also change the paragraph as you can see right here. You can edit each section by simply scrolling down. So you can see the Wix form right here. You can edit the Wix form to your liking. You could tap on form settings. After tapping on form settings, you're going to see a window pop up. From here, you could edit the form even further. You could go into settings. You could change the form name. You can set up email notification and so on. Once you're finished editing that, you can now see if we were to scroll back up, a new page has been added as you can see right there. And if it is a case that you'd like to add a blank page, all you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option once more, tap on pages and menu, then tap on add page. After tapping on add page, you could select blank page right here in the top left hand corner. After doing that, you could enter your page name. So for example, test, then tap on done. After you have done that, you can add elements to your page. To add elements, you'll simply go over to the top left hand corner and tap on add element. After you have done that, you can see different elements that you can add. So for example, we could drag and drop a heading. So you could add your heading right there, then tap on add elements once more. And from there, we could tap on paragraphs. And from here, you could drag and drop a paragraph. And then you could type out your paragraph and you can also move it into position. And if it is a case that you would like to change the background, all you'll need to do is select the page, then tap on change background. And from here, you can add an image to the background or you can scroll down and you can choose one of these images right here. You can also add a video. You can also add color to the background. Let's say for example sake, I would like to use this pic. I can simply tap on it and you can see that the background has now changed. And if it is a case that you would like to add an image or so onto the page, all you need to do is tap on add elements. From there, you can select image and you could add an image. You can add anything to your Wix website by simply tapping on the plus in the top left hand corner. Whether it is a video, anything at all that you would like to add, you'll find it in this section. And another thing that I should tell you is, when it comes on to Wix, it is quite easy to edit even as a complete beginner. As you can see, majority of the features are located in the left hand menu option right here. And once you're finished, you could tap on preview to see how it looks. And if it is to your liking from there, you could tap on publish and your website will now be live. So you can see how my website looks at the moment. And let's say for example, I wanted the landing page only to show. All I would need to do is go over to the left hand menu option, tap on pages and menu. Then right where you see home, I could tap on the three dots right there, then tap on hide from menu. Or what you could also do is you could simply tap on the three dots and you could delete it overall. And when it comes onto the test page, I'm going to tap on the three dots also, and I'm going to tap on hide from menu. After doing that, from there, you can tap on this three dots and you could tap on set as home page. So the landing page is the home page and the only visible page on our website, as you can see right here. And you can also choose to add more sections if you want. By simply scrolling down, you could tap on add section. And then from there, you can choose the section that you would like to add. So whether you'd like to add a newsletter box, you can do that or you like to add your contact form or any other form of information, you can do that. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.